Hello wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you the top most of the top news where they happen all over the world. Uh, Mr. Pito B, the former governor of Anambra State, has narrated his ordeal, his experience uh, with UK uh, immigration. He has opened up on what happened and what led to his uh, him being detained for you know for some minutes or hours at the UK airport. Of course, UK airport was normally where he, you know, he passes freely, being the former governor of Anambra State and the rest of them. And um, all of a sudden, when he approached the airport this other time, he was detained. And without knowing what happened, but after everything, a shocking revelation was made to him. And uh, he decided to share it with people. Of course, he, he wanted to keep it to himself, but at a certain point, when people started questioning what really happened, they wanted to know what happened. Some people were saying that um, because his identity was cloned and the rest of them. But uh, he said that now it is time for people to hear from the horse's mouth. So please pay rapt attention. Make sure you listen to this news from beginning to the end so that um, you will see what happened to Peter Obi. You will know that people are wicked. People are wicked. People are wicked. People are wicked though, in this life. You don't even need to start trusting people because some things will happen. You start saying, uh, is it now, should we now stop trusting people, our friends and the people that are very close to us? Because the person that will kill you is the very person that is very close to you. Let me tell you, an enemy that is very far, enemy that is very far cannot kill you because he does not know your whereabouts. He does not know your movement. Is that person that is very close to you, that your inner psycho, your inner kakus man, woman, who will be saying that your main person will know your whereabouts, know your movement, will know your inner out. That person knows your allergy, know what you are against, know what you are in for. He knows even where you can be found at a particular time. That's the only person who can destroy your life. Look at what happened in Kenya. The person that killed the minister was his personal bodyguard. His personal bodyguard shot him to death live. You know, personal bodyguard, you, you, you know, you bought for yourself. You are paying salary. You are paying money to. Well, the, uh, the, the, the secret behind that story of that Kenya uh, uh, man has not yet been revealed. Why he was shot by his personal bodyguard. Somebody that you... This one is personal. Now your mama, now the person will know your secret, know everything about you. At first, people thought that uh, maybe it's because of uh, money. But what, what surprised everybody was that the guy shot, shot the minister and also went out and shot himself. Or maybe he could not escape and he thought of maybe the, 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 the burden of what he has committed, uh, how, what he's going to pass through. And he decided to you know, take his own life too. But one thing you should note in this life is that the world has become an evil place and greediness is increasing day by day. Every day, greediness increases, you know, because people want to be better than this person. Somebody wants to be better than you. Somebody wants to be higher than you. Somebody don't even want you to exist in this life. There are some people that are envying you, not because you have money, not because you are rich, not because you even have, but just because... You are enjoying your life. You have life. You don't even... When you have, you are happy. When you don't have, you are happy. If you eat, if you see Gareth drink, you are still happy. Your body is fresh. Because some people, whether they eat or they don't eat, self, they are still okay. They are still fresh. And some people that will still be envying you are those who are even richer than you, who have more money than you. But just because you are happy, they don't even like your happiness. So that is the word for you. Let's go down to this news proper. Let's see what actually happened to Peter Obi at the UK airport. And please, if this is your first time of uh, joining us on this channel, please go straight and hit the subscription button, the like button, the share button, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first to uh, collect it. Let's go down to the news proper. Let us see the heart. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi has opened up on his experience with immigration officers at the Heathrow International Airport, London. Obi said he was never arrested or detained by officials of the British government. He insisted that what went down at Heathrow International Airport was a case of carrying out a routine immigration check because his identity 
had been alleged to have been compromised. The nation's report on April 12th, Labour Party announced that Obi was harassed and detained at Heathrow Airport in London over alleged impersonation. The party said Obi, Obi was questioned for a long time and it took the intervention of Nigerians for him to be released. But in an interview with Arise TV, monitored by the nation, the former Anambra state governor narrated his experience. Obi said he was top for routine immigration checks while contradicting his party's claim that he was questioned for a long time. He said, I was never arrested, I was never detained, and I did not commit any offense. I was stopped for a routine immigration check because there appeared to be a duplication of my identity and all this lasted for a maximum of 20 minutes. <laughs> I lived in the UK from 1993 until 2005. From then till now is a period of 30 years. I have never been questioned, arrested, or detained in any country in the world. I have never for any reason found myself being questioned for any offense. It was a routine immigration check, and I was actually given all the due respect by the border personalities that interviewed me. Who told me? Your identity has been duplicated. Be careful. Obi noticed that despite once having a permanent residency in the United Kingdom, he chose to return to Nigeria, adding that I was born in Nigeria and will want to live and die a Nigerian. I have not committed any offense, so it was a routine immigration check and it lasted for less than 20 minutes. And I was actually given all the due respect by the border personalities who told me that my ident identity has been duplicated. And I have a written document from the British government clarifying that I was never detained and that it was a few minutes routine check, he added. My people, when I don't see it as it happened, and I put to be himself, don't come out, he has come out to uh, narrate his ordeal, uh, or to narrate his ordeal on what uh, happened at Heathrow Airport, UK. And Peter Obi has come out to say that he himself was never arrested. Uh, because um, everybody was, you know, the news went viral that Peter Obi has been arrested, he has been detained, and the rest of them. And um, people thought that maybe it, it is something serious. Though it is something serious because for your identity to be duplicated, it means that, you know, the person in question has cloned your identity. And of course, you know the implication. It means that the person can commit a crime, he can commit an offense, and the rest of them, and you can be held accountable for that. So, the, the, according to him, the, the UK uh, uh, border, border checks were trying to do their normal routine check. Of course, you know that um, uh, UK is not just uh, like Nigeria, because... If it were to be in Nigeria, they would take you to be a dignitary, this and that, just pass. They will even start hailing you, say, hey, uh, baba, baba, toale, toale for you, someone quit for you, who goes this man, hey, now the man of the people, this, that, that. But uh, it is not like that with the white man. The white man believes that everybody is equal. Whether you're a governor, whether you're a president, whether you're a prime minister. That's why uh, in places like UK, for example, if you are a minister, you are expected to lead by example. There was this uh, Nigerian lady that time. I think I have forgotten the position he held in the UK, but he, was, he held a very high, you know, a very high position in the United Kingdom. But he was he was sanctioned because he he beat uh, she beat traffic law. Traffic, uh, traffic light. And the, the, these people don't care who else is cause. And she was charged because the UK government believed that this woman who is a leader is supposed to set an example for the followers. So in the UK or the United States, they believe that if you are the leader, the, the, the reason why you are the leader is because you have become among the people that made this law. And you are not just uh, there to enjoy money or to enjoy... Uh, the immunity as a as a as someone that is in higher echelon of government you are there also to set example you are there to make the, to make the people know that this is actually how to live in this country and the woman was sanctioned she was sent out from her office 
Yes, she lost her job just because of beating traffic light. But here, uh, ministers can even, with their siren, disturb everybody, even self. Uh, if you stand on their way, they can even kill you and nothing will come out of it. Yes. Police harasses people anyhow. Army can get you, slap you, do you jump like one hour. Civil, common civil defense self can even get you and slap you like you know, no. Even a uh, uh, federal road safety, even common, uh, you're waiting to the column, security, go beat you up on black. <laughs> Even this thing, where people they call and the CIO, if they get you for main road, my brother, those people where they wear white and black, where we say their only work now to the check paper, oh, now common paper be their work to the check. If those people get you, my brother, they go even detain you for road. One make you as in, if you know back them, and if you they look their belt like this, some of them self, you go not say that belt where they use, they don't use them for like 20 years. <laughs> So that's why they do for Nigeria, no Nigeria and be for you. <laughs> and me, myself, self, I want Japa. <laughs> oh, my people, wonderful people, still remember, say you're still here for this channel. And if this is your first time of joining us on this channel, um, uh, make you go straight uh, to hit the subscription button, the like button, the share button. And also remember to own your notification button so that whenever our news go to drop, bye, 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 uh, you go be the first. We will collect them. Hey, may God bless you for listening because my person will get here, yeah, they give with the talk. <laughs> and if you don't give your ear, we know go talk now. Nah. If you no talk, when you no go listen, nah. so the Bible talk come. Hey, God bless you. See you another wonderful time.